The surface analysis business at Great has been established for nearly 50 years. Back in 1969, we launched the first commercial XPS instrument, the ES100. And over that time, we've really evolved the product range um, from the ES range to the XM range and our Axis range of instruments. In about 1989, Kratos was purchased by the Shimanzu organization, which allowed us to you know, do a lot more investment and development in, in long-term uh, goals. And that's led to bringing to the market things like our magnetic lens, a coaxial charge compensation system, we had the spherical mirror analyzers. But of late, there's been a lot of developments with our gas cluster ion source, which allows us to uh, remove layers of material initially with organics and we've expanded the use of that into inorganic materials without doing any damage or, or compositional modification and that's led to some interesting applications particularly in lithium-ion batteries. Shimazu Corporation established 1875 so almost I think uh, uh, since its establishment 143 years has passed. Just now Shimazu headquarters become a travel thousand employees worldwide and also 74 subsidiary company yeah, in the worldwide. And the current business as it is is based here in Manchester where we've got all our R&D and still manufacturing. We're generally a, a global company. We, we have instruments installed really in every continent around the world. Probably globally around 50-50 between an industrial environment and an academic environment. We also have lots of systems installed in national uh, research centres. There's a lot of application in the battery industry, um, driven by the move to, to electric cars, but uh, catalysis, photovoltaics, really any, any industry that's reliant upon thin films. Uh, at the moment, a lot of that work is in, is in the R&D lab, but as that transfers into industry, we expect those industries to take up more and more surface characterization led by XPS. And what we're seeing more and more is us trying to, as a company, trying to lower the barriers to entry. So making the instruments easy to operate, ensuring they've got a higher uptime, ensuring they've got, uh, they can be used continuously. So the automation of the system, self-calibration, that all of these lower the barrier to entry or make the, the cost per analysis much lower. We are very proud of Kratos product, uh, which is so, I think, uh, sophisticated. And uh, XPS field, uh, surface analysis, uh, we are the uh, leader, such kind of R&D and uh, uh, product. We pride ourselves on our, our closeness to our customers. We like to understand their needs. We've got customers, or at least people from institutes that have bought the second or third generation instrument over a period of perhaps 20 years, and allowing us to develop a product that, that encourages the customer to buy a second one. Uh, is really uh, related to the fact we have such a good customer relationship.